guts is more important than us keeping watch and protecting them engineers in there. Hey, guess so. All right. Hmm. So clearly so we you gotta... were on you were on the right track earlier. I literally need to go get that ugly cat thing and shove it uh, in a pipe. How do we do that? I have no recollection at all. I I want one of these apples. A single bob won't hurt. He didn't get an apple. I'm sure no one's watching. Mm. I like the Plain, thing about bobbing for Nettles, though. I actually do not remember that from my playthrough. How certainly no yams. How uh, <laughs> they bob for nettles and the children are crying. Ah, huh? fun, <laughs> memory, fun memory. Well, that's pretty good. All right. Well, let's. I mean, like, can we get this rat thing? There. Uh, you know what? Maybe there's some food on one of the tables that a rat would like to we eat. We saw rats. Like, a lot of rats. Where did we see those? Let's feed him this guy. You. Back by the festival, I think, where there's all the food and people, like, passed out. Well, that's, like, here. By the square, you mean? Yeah, yeah, I think, I like, out in the... Oh, yeah, maybe that is what it was. Hmm. Oh, there is Bip. Kid. Bip, we have so something we very important we need you to do. Zardy. Put your hand in this. Play play <laughs> Goddess, it's late, boy. You should be in bed. So should you. What you doing now? Chasing rats. Uh, yeah, just whatever. Yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. Are you that hungry? Rats taste like sewage. Trust me, you're better off eating table scraps. Uh, I'm not eating the rat. I need it for... It's work-related. It is. Okay. Well, don't let me keep you from your rats. Are you just going to sit there? It's not every night I get a chance to watch you catch a rat. Fair point. Bip. Let me explain way this world works to you, son. <laughs> it's a leftover cheese and meats plate. Of I've course, dined here. It's the a... food's good. I would never have left any bits uneaten. Uh, no, I don't want the cheese. I want the... How am I going to catch up? No, Keon, Keon, no. Keon, that was the most feeble. Ah, that too quick. You're not very good at catching rats, are you? Bip. I, I, You're no, ratty, ratty, ratty. Nobody, nobody asked you. They won't come close as long as I'm standing here. Yeah, they will. What? They ate my cheese. Oh, so close. Well, mm, not really. Bip. Ah, yams. Can uh, we somehow use the tubes, ago, like as a makeshift yams. rat No, I can't trap. get enough. Uh, I'm putting oh. yam aficionado. I really want. Keon likes yams. I'm, I'm really trying my best here, Keon, to get you your yams, but you're not eating them. I don't know. None of these seem to be combined. Hmm. Maybe. Can we can we poison the I mean the rat doesn't have to be alive to go in the machine, does it? They won't come close as long as I'm standing here. This is This is more fun than throwing pebbles at Azadi guards. <laughs> it's Keon. <laughs> Won't you focus? Oh no. You got it! <laughs> oh really man, it looked all dead already. Impressed. Well, that was fun. What's next? Next, you go home and stop distracting me, or I'll tell the other street urchins you have to be honest, I don't fleas. really understand why I you were able no to catch home. the rat by you know that. putting the cheese on that end of the tube. Um, I guess because you could, like, stand Good. above, I don't it's know, like, place you couldn't see you from so inside the go back the to your cellar and okay. keep your okay, head some down. Video game logic going on there. It seems pretty to Please, got it. I'm sleepy anyways. That's why I'm going back. Not because you're telling me to. That's right, Bill. And don't throw pebbles at Azadi soldiers. <laughs> Unless I ask you to. Can I get my pipe, please? No? Okay, whatever. Let's, let's look at this. Hold on. Like, is he alive? 
Maybe he's asleep. I mean, we could beat it against the wall. <laughs> it's a ground crawler. A snake tail, a brown fur, a street pigeon. A rat. A Beloved rat. child has many names. Soundly trounced. Alright, so we want one that goes into the thing? Hold on. Okay, so this is where we access this one. Um, so here's the building. Oh, back behind us, behind the goats. Maybe? Yes! Oh, man. It's almost like we came prepared to video game tonight. <laughs> oh, I'm... Oh. Too bad. I am so sorry, my furry friend. <laughs> He's not our friend. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think he deserved this. <laughs> oh... I mean, th let me just point out here that uh, you stabbed a guy in the foot and killed him sound? and, like, it tortured a, a human squishy being, sound, sort of like. and you've shown more remorse about this rat. That's right. <laughs> you've got to be kidding me. Not again. Shut a damn ground crawlers. I guess it's on us to clean up the mess. That bloody engineer in there is not going to do it, so yeah, it's on us. <sighs> Light. Well, let's get to it. No time like the present. Uh, it's amazing that Kian could hear that from, you know, like 3.2 miles away. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, I guess technically, it's sort of the, the position of the narrator or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Kian himself maybe didn't hear that. I'm now our way is open. They said there's an engineer. He did say there's an engineer in here. We're gonna have to kill him with the yams. Oh my goodness. He's actually just in here playing Sudoku. You know, not all engineers have to, like, po pencil pocket protectors. Let's Most honest. of them really do, though. No. I don't put my pin in my pocket. I put it, like, in the <laughs> fold of my shirt. So, I guess I need to, like, choke cold this guy. How do I get up here? Oh. I mean, there's I think mathematics. We're trying to figure out what the board. machine is all oh. about, though, oh. so don't choke hold from Um, you're not supposed to be here. This place is for engineers only. Please leave, or I'll be forced to call the guards. I have a very loud voice when I'm scared. One sound, and you'll be standing on the slopes of the first mountain, yelling at clouds. Goddess. Um, I like no his project, problem. Though. I'll be quiet as a. You're from Azadir. I've seen your profile in embroideries. I never forget a nose. Dude. You're the Apostle. Apostle Elvani. You're famous. Maybe once. Now I'm just Kian. Your turn. My, my turn what? Your name. Who are you? It's pretty Pronounce. good that he can wander around and like have special Pronounce. potions and whatever. Lead engineer. And I don't know, this guy recognizes I him. I don't know what now. that means. Yep. What do you do? Don't you know? I, I thought you would have known, you know, from back when you were... I'm in charge of the team that encodes the spheres that make the engine tick. What engine? The engine that... <laughs> you, you know, the engine. There's only one engine. The one that encompasses the entire city. Yeah. It's, it's what all the pipes are connected to. Didn't they tell you anything when you were... Y you know... Before you were a traitor? Assume that I know nothing. What is this engine for? The engine calculates. That's why they call it the calculating engine. That's a good name for a calculating numbers, engine. Complex equations. I 
We, uh, my team, we give the engine instructions about how and what to calculate. This is called coding. I, I understood none of that. <laughs> you can't be here. You're a fugitive, and, and, um, this is a restricted zone. That's like two things that mean you shouldn't be here, and I could probably think of more if you need me to. I have a sword, and I'm bigger than you. Those are two things that count in your favor, granted. So what does this calculating engine do? What's its purpose? I'm, I'm really not supposed to. Right, bigger and sword. As I said, it calculates. I mean, it does more than that, but that's what it was built to do. It's core functionality. It adds, subtracts, multiplies numbers, big numbers, and it does things with those numbers. Like, um, like, have you ever watched the stars in the sky at night? I'm not just a man with a sword. Of course. And you've seen how those stars move across the sky. Using a calculating engine, we can actually track those stars and predict where they're going to be in a year from now, or a century, or where they were a century ago. Why are you tracking stars? Well, we're not. I mean, it's just an example. We're not actually tracking stars. I mean, sure, we could if we wanted to, but... This guy's like talking the to IT dreams. of every company. Dreams. No kidding. Dreams are very complex, which is why we need a big engine with lots of ticking parts to make complex calculations and predictions. Right, so the part about not just being a man with a sword... <laughs> assume that's all I am and start over. Yes, fine. Um, those pipes crisscrossing the city, they're sort of like, um, like speaking tubes, connecting a hundred sage masters, each with his or her own field of specialty. So, it's like a university? Well, I guess. Yes. Yes, this is a good comparison. A whole city filled with clever brains. The spheres pass messages between the different masters, and between them and us. We write messages, and we interpret messages. We tell the individual brains what to think about, and then they do the thinking, and report back to us. Now, this allows us to write ever more complex messages, until finally, we have the code we need. The ultimate the message. The ultimate message. That's 42. We send That's the to answer, the guys. Yeah, right. We Why? already figured that one out. Because... Because that's where the biggest brain of them all is located. This is the hub of the pipe network, the engine's core, its heart, the nucleus of the meta... Well, y you understand. The fact is, this is the most advanced and scientific task anyone's ever taken on, and we're doing it. You should be proud. Why are you doing really it? jiggling back there. Well, I... I... I don't quite know. Because we can? Because no one else can? Because the Prophet told us to, and gave us the tools to do it. So, you don't know what it's for? I write the instructions. I'm the, um, I'm the man in the middle. Someone tells me what they need, and I tell the engine how to compute the answer. This is my job. Who knows what the engine is for? The Six, probably. The Prophet, certainly. Emissary Saya, I would imagine. <laughs> this is above my pay grade. Above your... I was hired to write instructions for the Looks engine like and pretty compute advanced the speed. Society, pay grade. Not to ask questions. <laughs> and, and not to answer yours either, Mir. You really should go before someone comes. We'll both be in terrible trouble. They usually check on me all the time. I wonder why they haven't. I still don't understand. Why build all of this here in Mercuria? Why not in Sadir? Because of the tower and what's below it. Vast eddies of, um, meta-energies. Meta? Do you mean magic? <laughs> magic? Magic? Of course not magic. This engine is, is, is the opposite of magic. It's the culmination of everything Azadir has strived for these last hundred years. An end to chaos and uncertainty. 
An end to superstition and irrationality. An end to magic. When the engine's fully operative and the programming complete, we won't need sorcerers or witchcraft anymore. We'll be able to do anything we want with science. Reshape reality, rewrite the laws of the cosmos, remove death and disease, poverty and warfare. The world will be run by scientists for the betterment of humanity. What do dreams have to do with it? The engine feeds on the, on, on the building kind of blocks what everybody of reality. About science. I know, right? Um, ideas, stories, dreams. Magic is highly See, detrimental to the system. Burning old See, dinosaurs. Sorcery causes chaos, dreams. injects uncertainties oh, and, and, and fallacies too. into our calculations. So and then destroying is them. that why <laughs> magicals are... are being relocated? We can't have them around while the engine's calculating. But as soon as we're done... We you can... believe they're being relocated? Oh, yes. Yeah, yes, of course. I mean, it's what they told us. Why would they lie? It's simple. The engine isn't compatible with magic, and we don't want anyone getting hurt. There's no room for sorcery in Mercuria. The Magicals are better off in their new homelands. They're being Afterward. sent to prison camps. Re-education camps. This is true, yes, but only temporarily. This is their first stop. Afterwards, they're given passage to their new homelands, where they can- Do you really believe that? What would the Magicals be re-educated to do? Forget that they're magicals. No, Fadaus. That's not the truth. They're imprisoned. Killed. They're not given a new home. But they told us. They said they were... They, they promised they'd be safe. And happy. And... Oh, light protect them. So this is why we're sending all the magicals away from Mercuria. Because of the engine. I... Yes. Yes, that's why. I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> there are children. There are. They lied to us. Do you need to remove all magicals before starting up this calculating engine? It's already running. I'm... I'm not... As long as the thermaturgical interference is below the acceptable threshold, I do kind of like the idea. I mean, the idea of the computer is kind of, you know, possibly very I guess, because like, well, how, you know, what exactly are they doing? Uh, but I do kind of like the idea that it doesn't no. really work. No, they don't. They don't need to get rid of all of the magic. Is, is around. Just yeah, enough yeah. not to disrupt our calculations. It just we'll be done instructing the network in a couple of days. Elements. After that, they can pull the lever whenever they want. That's the last component of the engine, the tower, the one that will start feeding on and molding the dreams. Changing the world for the... for the better. Yeah. I, um... I believe the official ceremony is a few days from now. The emissary will be there, together with the first, and the prophet, and... and... and please don't kill me. <laughs> I'm not going to kill you. But what you're doing here is not the will of the goddess, Fadaus. Something is going on. Someone's... Coming. Kian. I had a feeling it was you. That shoved a rat in your tube? Yes, it was. <laughs> what are you doing here, honey? Where are your men? Right outside. They can be here in seconds. You, engineer, what's your name? I threatened him. He played no part in this. For Dows. I'm f for Dows. You lied. I beg your pardon? You promised they'd be safe. I have no idea what you're talking about. Go, Fadaus. This is not about you. Just remember what I told you. You're not doing the work of the goddess here. Yeah. Yeah, he's dead. Were you doing the work of the goddess when you murdered Dardoniam? How, How did you know that I... Mm, I don't know. He exploited a Dalmari child. He would have been put to death. After a trial. You're not judge and executioner, Kian. Not anymore. Yeah, but he was dumb. And you didn't stop there, did you? You've been busy. I've recognized your bloody handwork. It was just a rat, man. Jeez. You've shamed me. <laughs> You've shamed Mother Utana, the goddess, your nation. You should be looking at what the emissary and... Right now, I'm looking at you. And the young man of faith, honor, and integrity I once knew appears to be long gone. I should have realized the taking of Old Town was too easy. 
It was a distraction, designed to take my mind off the investigation. Commander Vamon and the Emissary have been lying to me about your death. Why is that? Because I'm a danger to them. And it's not the only thing they've lied to you about. This engine... You betrayed us. You joined the enemy. To stop Sire and Vamon, not to fight our people. Not to fight you. Sister Sire is the Emissary. Commander Vamon is your superior officer. They are your people. They are traitors, Mir. They have betrayed our nation, our faith, and... You should have come to me first, Apostle. You should have come to me. When I received word someone had been spotted entering this house, I had a feeling it was you. I entered alone for two reasons. This is interesting One, because it's as a like... courtesy to the mother. Kind of shows the break her heart again to hear that you perished in dishonor. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, Hami doesn't know about and two, Vamon and Saya, and yeah. they, living proof I mean, they that Vamon has lied to me to distract him. He, I'm not sure exactly what his position Vamon, is. I cannot reveal my hand to Vamon, but I also cannot let you sort of go. Uh, you'll surrender you know, to like me now, a, without struggle, of Vamon, and maybe? you'll be brought to Sadir tonight in secret. The courts will decide your fate. For the time being, while I sort out this mess, you'll be locked away under a false name. No one will know you're alive. When I'm ready to confront the Commander and the Emissary with their lies, I will reveal the truth about your survival, and you will cooperate every step of the way. Ask Sire and Vermon about the camps, and what they're doing to- You lied. You lied to us. You told us they would not be harmed. You told us they'd be safe. There were children! Get off me, you idiot! <laughs> go! Go, Keon! Make them pay for this! I like how casual Stop he's just that. like hanging Get up. off me! Yeah. I'll have you beheaded for this. He just walks. Shadow, damn you, man! Leave this place! Now! Like, it's like a... Heart soldier. <laughs> like, he's right. just like, ah, an engineer! <laughs> Getting snuggled by that guy. Man, did Bip just get eaten by the monster or something? No, Bip, don't get too close to that tube hole. <laughs> he was totally getting snuggled by that guy. It looked cozy. Yes? Mother. It's the general. He asks to speak with you. Send him in, child. Hami. Is anything the matter? It's Kian. He's alive. Oh. Goddess. Goddess, be praised. Goddess, be praised indeed. How do you know this? He broke into the engine room down on City Green. Light. What was he doing there? Speaking with one of the engineers, Fadaos, a young man from the southern provinces. That's a Kian lot said, of random details. Oh, well, yeah, tell her about no the snuggling. <laughs> He's a traitor. He's joined the resistance. And the rat. But it is as I suspected. We have been lied to by Vamon and the Emissary. For what reason? That I don't know. Yet. And until we do, we cannot confront the mother. I agree. We don't know how firm their grip is on the tower. If they know that we know... That we know that they know What that about know. Kian? Was he here? Uh, how did he look to you? Could I snuggle him? He looked him? strong. Different, <laughs> but strong. He must have his reasons for doing <laughs> like, what he's doing, Hami. He's like, he looked different. Kian would he had never hair. betray Azadir <laughs> yeah, right. or his faith. Perhaps, but that's what he's doing. I gave him the honorable choice to turn himself in and face righteous judgment. But he fled like a coward when the engineer attacked me. I was not an attack. Attacked? I don't blame the man. Kian poisoned his mind with baseless lies. My men detained him, and I placed him somewhere safe, somewhere he can't tell anyone what he saw and heard. Out of Vamon's reach. <laughs> At the bottom of the bay. We need bay. to keep this between us, or we run the risk of alerting the commander and emissary Saya. Much as I'd like to hunt down Kian myself and put him to the sword, we must be patient. Let's trust the goddess, Hami, to illuminate our path and bring us to the truth. I certainly hope she will. But what if she doesn't? 
What do we do? Speak with the others. Hey, look, our special lady friend is friends with our friends Jim, now. thank the balance you're back. Bip's been- They've taken him. Taken, yeah. Light, are you sure it's Bip? I knew this would happen. We have no time to spare. We must get to him before- The cloud ship just unmoored and is already heading for Guillen. It's too late. Then we must follow. And abandon your mission here for one child's life. Is it because he's a magical that he's not worth the trouble? You're such an angry, angry man. Do you really <laughs> want Kian to leave Mercuria and risk his life to save one boy? I thought so. See? This is what happens when we murder Azadi soldiers just for the hell of it. That has nothing to do with it. They're taking all the magicals away. I know why, and I know what the pipes are for. What? Really? Are you serious? I'll explain later. That right now, really we need to rescue the boy. Titles. Well, <laughs> for that. After him. <laughs> yeah. That's not your decision to make, Anna. Can we really afford to lose more people? I mean, we've lost so many, and... And the Arne's still in custody. She should be dead. Do, does your language even have a word for forgiveness? Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> I need to think about this. I, can't I still don't get the thing with Nane, boy, and I still don't really buy the fact that Kian is so invested in this resistance the anyway. Are hunting. Yeah. The general knows I'm alive. Honey, how did that happen? Did you approach him? Are you trying to curry favors with your former masters? Curry favors? How would I even? I'm not I don't trying even to like curry, curry any favors. With Stop it, both of you! You're really annoying <laughs> and loud. Let's get out of here before all of it gets in trouble for harboring a fugitive. Shepard will want to have a say in the discussion. This isn't over, Kian. Oh, hush. So don't forget, we've got that thing in our inventory. Yeah. I mean, again, it's not like... Oh, I guess that was probably our chance to have put it back. Oh, before we talked to the others? Yeah, before before we went in. Yeah. Oh, well, uh -huh. he's dead. 